Roswell Flight Test Crew, here look at the FLIR Duo. Now, this little guy incorporates an HD video camera plus a FLIR Lepton thermal imager, and it's exactly the size of a GoPro 3. The visible light camera records 1080p video and 2 megapixel stills. The thermal imaging camera is 160 by 120 pixels with a 9 hertz frame rate. So we want to show you how to integrate the FLIR Duo into your drone. Along with the camera, you receive a bench cable. It has a USB connector for power, an RCA connector for composite video, and two PWM connectors. Your drone doesn't likely have the connections to hook this cable up as is, so we're going to modify it and show you how. We're going to modify our cable for Raven. Now, Raven outputs power on JST and accepts video in with a standard serial connector. Keep in mind when assembling that the FLIR Duo can accept between 5 to 26 volts DC. It does, however, have protection against reverse polarity. In the user guide, there's a technical drawing of the bench cable. First, cut off the unwanted connectors. Now keep in mind, of course, you can cut the wire at any point here, but if you cut it before this little knot here, you'll have a lot more wires to worry about. So now that you've cut the USB end off of your bench cable, you'll have to get a new one to transfer data to your computer. So I recommend just picking up a cheap, you know, $3 cable off the internet. Stripping off some wire. Next thing we'll do is cut off the data high and low cables, the green and white. We won't need these to power the camera. And we're left with red and black. I'm going to strip a small amount of the wire off of each one of these two. I'm going to attach a JST connector for power. Just quickly check and make sure it clicks in okay. Okay, that works. Now remove the RCA connector. Next thing is strip the video cable and mine the wires on the outside. You'll need those. We have the ground on the outside and the video wire in the middle. Since we're using the ground, let's just twist it together. I'm going to cut these to equal length. I'm going to strip the video wire and twist that up. We're attaching a male servo connector to the video wires. Other wire. Next, insert the wires. There we go. And here's the completed cable. Okay, so I'm threading the cables into Raven here, and I've got uh, power, I've got a couple of PWMs to hook up to the receiver, and of course the uh, the camera video output. I'm gonna first plug the power in, so the power from the FLIR to Raven's power. I'm gonna hook my camera switch up to the, the cable I made here. I'm going to connect my PWMs from the FLIR to a couple of cables from my receiver. This will allow me to go start and stop and change video modes. I'm going to mount the FLIR physically to Raven using a standard GoPro 3 frame mount. It actually fits perfectly inside of there, and the buttons all line up, which is the best thing. Like it was made for it. So this is the setup. We have Raven, we have the FLIR Duo mounted in the front here, hooked up on the inside. We're transferring to the screen here, and since we're using the PWM, we can control whether we're seeing visible light or thermal. Here we go. Thermal, visible light, good to go, simple. So that was how to integrate the FLIR Duo into your UAS. Click subscribe now and you can watch our next video where we go in detail on this item. Anyway, hope you enjoy watching, see you next time, and fly safe.
which accepts uh... Don't touch it. Don't touch Raven? No, don't touch it. 